the attention of who? Of God. So this resurrection that we celebrate is victory over sin and death. Joy that the way to life is again open to us. But we are celebrating under heavy pressure now. What is the pressure? Eh? We call it COVID-19. What's the meaning of COVID? CO stands for Corona. V stands for virus. Eh? And D stands for diseases or disease. Then uh, when did it when did we see it manifest? 19, uh, 2019. So it's just uh, coded. Corona virus disease that came in in 2019. It's now a pandemic. From disease, it has gone to what? Pandemic. Because pandemic is something that is ravaging the world. Many see it. There have been so many debates. Some say, no, there's nothing like virus. It's just a deceit. But if you carefully read from Revelation chapter 4, you will see that the prophecy is now changed. Prophecy is no more about Jesus being born in a manger. The prophecy that is given to the church now is to expose the coming of the Lord Jesus Christ. In John chapter 14, let's quickly take verses 1 to 4. John chapter 14, verses 1 to 4. What did Jesus himself say there? Thank you. before he left, say, he has gone to what? To prepare a place. And he will what? Come again and take us to be with himself. That is the victory we are celebrating. We are expecting. When will he come? We don't know. From Revelation, you have things put in place that must happen before his what? His coming. There will be signs. Just like in the olden days, there were signs, there were prophecies, and people did not really give heed. So, if you look at Revelation chapter 6, verses 1 and 2, Revelation chapter 6, verses 1 and 2, Revelation chapter 6, verses 1 and 2. And I'm of the seas, and I heard as it were the noise of thunder, one of the four living creatures saying, Come and see. And I saw, and I am built a white horse, and he that sat on it had a, a bow, and a crown was given unto him, and he went forth, conquered, and conquered. Thank you. The first seal of the seven seals was opened. Then the crown was given from um, what do we call it again? Anu from anatomy. The word crown is corona. And this corona was given 
to this person to go and conquer and be conquered. What is the state of the world today? Which nation is able to withstand the corona? No. Which nation has corona entered that has not conquered? Great rulers have been brought down. Those flying in the air have been what? Brought down. Those on the sea have been what? Put at a stand still. Big markets have been what? Closed down. Have been shut down. Supercars reading 45 million naira car cannot be what? Brought out. It's concrete. The end has not come. But the message is clear. God is in charge of the world. God in Christ is giving warning to the entire world. We pray our eyes will be opened. Amen. What will happen to this world? If Jesus says he's coming again, is he coming to this world? As it is? Revelation 21. Revelation chapter 21. Yes, 1 to 3. Salvation history, according to the Bible, there are five levels. You think of the original earth created. You see records in Genesis chapter chapters one and two. In no, we won't read it is long. That original earth, how did God make it? At the end of it, when he analyzed what he created, he saw everything that it was what? It was good. The only thing that was not good then, that he saw, he corrected, that the man was alone, there was no woman. And he decided to what? Create a woman. 
something happened in chapter 3, verse 6. Sin came in. And so that first order of the original earth was destroyed. The second level, life before the flood, man never became the same again after the disobedience. We see that in Genesis chapter 3, verses 7 following, and chapter 7, verse 9. This led to the flood, the third level, which we have in Genesis chapter 7, verse 11. And Peter actually referred to this in 2 Peter chapter 3, verse 6. After the flood, we now come into the present earth. The present earth. It is in the present earth that Jesus lived his life. It is in the present earth that Jesus worked out the work of salvation. We have, even in the Old Testament, record of this. In Genesis chapter 8, verse 22. From the present earth, we we'll move to the fourth level. And it is the fourth level we are gradually moving into now. With the great expectation of the return of Christ himself. Of course, Isaiah 24, verse 1, made reference to this. And if we read carefully through Revelation chapters 6 to 18, what is expected, what we should be doing, we are well guided to this fourth level. And this fourth level, God has graciously come through this coronavirus. This is one of the antimonies in theology. And going further, we discover that in atomic or in the space of science, there is also antimony. The antimony has to do with man-made or the misuse by man of elements made. A typical example, this uh, phone, your phone, the cover has elements of what? Antimony. And it's a destructive property. It's explosive in nature. No wonder. At times you hear, oh, the telephone of somebody what? Exploded. And you are warned, please, don't take your telephone to the kitchen. So, things that we have made are also there to what? To attack us. This fourth level, I believe, is what God is addressing now, calling the attention of the world. Corona has gone around the world to say, world, attention. Listen to me. God is the owner of this earth. And the present earth, whatever you are putting on it, we one day what? Vanish. If we don't believe it, coronavirus has given us a taste that it is possible. God will say and do and to go around the entire world, the entire world. And that will lead 
to the fifth level in salvation history. Of course, within the fourth and the fifth is what we call the millennial earth, which Isaiah in chapter 11 verse 9 and chapter 52 verse 10 referred to. Zechariah also referred to this in chapter 14 verses 9 and 10. You think of the millennial reign that will come even in the revelation. Peter addressing this spoke in chapter uh, second Peter chapter 3 verses 10 to 12 expressing that there will be fire and this gradually we project into the new earth which we have read and which Peter in chapter 3 second Peter chapter 3 verse 13 do refer to so we are citizens candidates being prepared for the new heaven and the new earth the challenges the sufferings of the moment under coronavirus should not be our focus our focus should be what? That glory that is being made. It will translate to something greater. Coronavirus is reminding us of the hope that is set before us. Yes, let the disease go. We have been reminded that there is nothing you put here on earth. Yeah? that is really meaningful. Many who just thought, oh, let me just go out. They have their super estate and measure everything set there. They could not what? Go in. Everything locked down. So after this pandemic, what life are we to live? How shall we live? Shall we continue the old order that grace may they are bound. Coronavirus is a reminder of the grace of God. There's a place. There's something better and higher than this earth. Let not your heart be troubled, said Jesus. Believe in God, believe also in me. But who are those that will be denied the grace of the new order, the new earth? Verse 8 of that Revelation 21. Revelation 21, verse 8. Fearful and unbelieving. The unbelieving and the abominable, the abominable and murderers, the murderers and war mongers and war mongers and sorcerers and sorcerers and adulterers and adulterers and all liars and all liars shall have their part in the lake. They shall have their part where in the lake in the lake which burns with fire which burns with fire and brimstone and brimstone which is the second death that will be the one turn to somebody and say avoid the second death those who died by coronavirus is not because they are worse sinners than myself who is standing before you well Many of them, better than myself. But God says to me and to you who are alive now that your first death has not come. Eh? First death, nobody can evade it if the time comes. Young do die, old do die. The first death is compulsory. And Jesus showed us example. 
Because he has passed through the first death, we have victory. So, first death. Abba, you like it or not, you must die. I like it or not, I must what? Die. I must die. If you wake up one day and you are planning of what you are going to do, what you are going to build and this thing, and you did not calculate death, you are a foolish person. Huh? And if God says the end has not come, not a human being will do. There was a story of somebody who said uh, he was fed up with life, took rat poison. And by the time he woke up, he discovered that uh, the asthma that was his problem vanished. He did that. It's not that you should go and take rat poison and say it will uh, kill asthma. It's a deadly thing. But because he stands for his first death has not come, he did not what? He did not die. So first death, fear not. That's what the resurrection of Jesus is saying. Don't fear the first what? Death. The second death, be careful, be prepared. Not to be a victim of the what? Of the second death. Because the second death will lead one into what? Eternal damnation. God forbid. This is the time to make up your mind. Be on the Lord's side. I shall be well with you. Yeah. Who is on the Lord's side? I am on the Lord's side. I am on the Lord's side. I am on the Lord's side. Pray for yourself. Father, we thank you. For this Easter, it is Easter of a countdown to your promise. We want to be on your side. The challenges of coronavirus will draw us closer unto you in the name of Jesus. Amen. But we ask that you heal the world of this virus. Amen. Thank you, faithful Father. Thank you, Jesus. In Jesus' name we ask. Amen. Amen.